We're having fun tonight out here, mid-May, fishing the new slow tail series for some nighttime tarpon, targeting some juveniles. And one of my favorite bridges here. We're fishing for some beautiful adolescent tarpon up here on the river. We're throwing the new hoagie slow tail. We've got a slow moving outgoing current. We've got medium sized bait fish stacking up on the white lines. And these slow tails are perfect for just swimming right below the surface where these tarpon are boiling. Uh, we located some fish. This is actually the first cast with it. And uh, got a nice 30 pound fish here. Pull her up. So you can see here, we got that slow tail just hanging right on the side of her face. Fish are feisty, the water temp's about 84. Right here, coming up to the new moon. But uh, see there, just a beautiful fish. Get that bait out. Right there on the slow tail. Now we designed that bait for fish in this exact scenario when fish are laying right up near the surface, feeding on medium sized baits, and you want a nice slow presentation. We'll go ahead and talk about the technique here in just a minute. Right now we're going to get this girl released. She's looking really healthy. Beautiful fish, probably 35 pounds, 40 pounds. Send her on her way. So that was an awesome start. We came out here. These are uh, historically some of my favorite tides to fish here in Southwest Florida. We're towards the end of May. We've got a, a good outgoing tide going on all night till about 2 a.m. This is a perfect opportunity for fishing the slow tail up near the surface. We're in shallow water, we're in about eight feet. Fish are feeding within a foot of the surface on baits from three to six inches. So the 5.5 inch body here imitates it perfectly. And what makes this bait ideal for this scenario is that it can be retrieved just as slow as possible. I'm just using a slow creep, keeping up the slack. It's creating enough undulating motion with that twin tail to keep it up, floating and moving near the surface. It's very unassuming. I'm not doing any jerky motions, just slow and steady. Those tarpon just like to track it, come up and pounce on it as it's an unassuming bait fish. We designed these baits for a variety of fisheries. Personally, a lot of thought came into targeting tarpon near the surface in slow moving water. It's the conditions we're fishing tonight. I've chose the black back with the silver body. A lot of the bait fish in here are juvenile mullet, a uh, little thread fin herring. They all kind of have that silver profile. And then at night, I always like a little darker color for the contrast. So this black silver, perfect for imitating both those necessities. And, you know, we moved over here, saw a couple fish, first cast, landed that uh, 35, 40 pounder. Nice fight on light tackle. And uh, we're gonna continue on and see what kind of excitement we can have tonight. So one of my favorite aspects about this light tackle fishery is that it's easy to do, it's a fun fight. Most of these fish range from 10 to 50 pounds. So you're looking at like a three to 10 minute fight. It's not overwhelming, it's not exhausting, and we're out here at night, so it's nice and cool. I've got a real simple outfit I like to use for it. Here I've got a seven foot St. Croix Tidewater rod. I'm using a Shimano Stratic 5000, 20 pound braid, and I do use a heavier leader. So right now I've got 60 pound fluoro on here, and the advantage to that is that it just offers a lot of abrasion resistance, which is important because we're fishing around bridge pilings, and of course tarpon have real abrasive mouths. So, um, I do use a heavier leader. I just use a uni to uni knot to my 20 pound braid. It's super lightweight, easy to fish all night, and a heck of a lot of fun for these fish in that 10 to 30 pound class.